At North Fraser Pretrial Center in Port Coquitlam, members of the RCMP investigate how an accused killer escaped. Rabbi Al Khalil broke out of the maximum security facility Thursday night. Al Khalil's connections range from across Canada to the United States, Europe and Asia. A Canada-wide arrest warrant and an Interpol red notice are being prepared. Al Khalil is charged with first degree murder for the high profile and very public 2012 shooting death of gangster Sandy Durer in the Sheraton Wall Centre. After the murder, Robbie Al Khalil fled the country when a number of search warrants were executed by the Vancouver Police Homicide Unit in Quebec. We believe he was working in concert with other suspects. Al Khalil's criminal trial is now underway in BC Supreme Court. Reporter Kim Bolin, who was in court today, tweeted, jurors are being told that Robbie Al Khalil has absconded, but is still presumed innocent. The trial will resume in the absence of Mr. Al Khalil. Investigators are not confirming how he managed to escape the facility, but there are reports a plasma cutting torch was used to cut a hole in the fence. North Fraser pre-trial has had escapes before. In 2007, surveillance video showed 37-year-old Omid Tavili dressed as a janitor being escorted out by a guard who was promised $50,000 to aid in his escape. Tavili, an organized crime kingpin, has never been caught. The guard never received his money and was sentenced to three years in prison. Now, the latest escape. There will most definitely be a, a full-scale uh, review and investigation into what happened and how it happened. 35-year-old Al Khalil has short black hair and brown eyes, is 5'10 and 166 pounds. He fled in this white Econoline van, which has since been found. Police are hunting for him and these two men believed to be his accomplices. Police believe we have identified the two suspects based on those identifications. It is more important than ever that we find Al Khalil. It appears that there is a strong connection uh, to internationally to this investigation. If you see any of these men, do not approach. They are considered dangerous. Instead, call 911 immediately. Catherine Urquhart, Global News.